five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go SpaceX, go IM-1, and the Odysseus Lunar Lander. Right now, we are working to confirm communications on the surface of the moon, roughly around the Malapert A region, that is the South Pole region of the moon. That's right. What we do know is the power descent initiation. We were following along in the status calls. Uh, we executed a pitch over maneuver and we're counting down the clock to a landing time uh, of 5.23 p.m. Central Time. Well, Josh described those processes of working on the communications component to confirm data from the lander, pulsing the teams surrounding him to check the status of Nova C and the data that they were receiving here in Nova Control to confirm landing. And part of that, Josh, as you described, is communications. We're standing by. Fido MD on IM1. QMD. Yeah, I'm looking at our uh, phase plane there for the, the last part of the flight. It looks like we had um, excellent pitch and yaw control throughout, but I did see a little bit of a roll excursion. Could it be that we landed off, uh, off angle and roll in the final phase? So I do see we get up to an eight degree excursion. Um, we're about to begin the, the roll maneuver, which is about terminal phase. The terminal phase, which is a, a large roll maneuver to get to to landing attitude. That's the latest, last data point I have. Um, but up until that point, we were we were really solid. Right. So terminal phase begins at 30 meters. Um, or post HDA. Post HDA. Post HDA. 400 meters. Very good. And that's a great conversation confirming. Box. That's good ground network, good for box scan. Make that go. Yeah, that was good confirmation of the process that we were very familiar with, talking about the attitude of the lander, making sure that those antennas are within direct line of sight with Earth stations, ground stations on Earth, excuse me. Mission director at all stations, we're also updating our pointing vector with our dishes to make sure that they're tuned in on our final landing site. 
there's a caller searching for that communications back to the ground station. This one particularly is in the UK that's tracking us. And it's important to note, Gary, that we have an, an entire network dedicated to working these communications problems. It's been active this entire mission. And the largest, most powerful dish out of all of them, it's about a 64 meter dish in Australia. That time to search with that opportunity with the largest, most powerful dish, we're looking at about 12 to 13 hours after our estimated touchdown. So this is a process that we could be looking and searching for the lander signal for confirmation uh, for quite some time, but we're going to continue to listen in and stand by as our flight controllers are working with the ground station in the United Kingdom to work this issue, work this problem. It's another challenge, um, very similarly to the challenge solved just to make it this far. Signs of life, we have a return signal we're tracking. We have an onboard fault detection system for our communications that after 15 minutes with lack of communication will power cycle the radios. And then after that, for another 15 minutes, it will then switch antenna pairs. So we have some time here to evaluate. We do have signal that we're tracking. So we'll see what happens. There's a great call out about the autonomous systems installed on our Nova C-Class lunar lander named Odysseus. The process he's mentioning, Gary, is very similar to the one that we were preparing ourselves for at AOS, to where the lander has systems in place to recycle its antennas, to switch antenna pairs. And that was very similar to what we thought we were going to need to do after acquisition of signal. Um, when we separated from the second stage of the launch vehicle, if we made it to a certain point, the lander was autonomously programmed to start taking matters into its own hands and that was the information that our mission director Dr. We're not Tim dead yet. Out. <laughs> We're also not dead yet. And the key here Josh is patience. It's 5:34 p.m. Mission Director Tim Crane confirming that it could take two phases of 15 minute increments to confirm the status of the landing. So we could be here and we'll stand by and monitor as Nova Controls to continues to work this issue. Yeah, tense moments inside of Mission Control with the most qualified folks. We're but picking we up a signal from our high gain antenna and uh, <laughs> transmitter. It's faint, but it's there. So stand by folks, we'll see what's happening here. All right, we're going to continue to stand by. Let's keep this camera on inside of Nova Control. It sounds like we are getting some kind of faint I signal. I want to send a series of commands to reactivate, make sure we're transmitting to keep the Quasonics active. We're still standing by. The last call from Mission Director Dr. Tim Crane was that we were getting a faint signal from Odysseus's high gain antenna. All stations, this is uh, Mission Director on IM-1. We're evaluating 
uh, how we can refine that signal and uh, dial in the pointing for our dishes. What we can confirm, without a doubt, is our equipment is on the surface of the moon and we are transmitting. So congratulations, IM team. We'll see how much more we can get from that. An excellent call from our mission director, MD Dr. Prime Tim Crane. On, uh, IM1. And over Go to our Prime. CEO, Steve Altus. Yeah, if I could just pass on a few words to the entire team in uh, Intuitive Machines at Superbab and here in the, here in the uh, mission control. <laughs> Uh, what an outstanding effort. I know this was a nail biter, but we are on the, si on the surface and we are transmitting and uh, welcome to the moon. Houston, Odysseus has found his new home. An excellent call, and this is our team of Intuitive Machines mechanics and their families, their friends, everyone who has sacrificed so much to make it this far. Stations. 